What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlook here. Since I'm about Scream 6 in this video here again today. So word broke today that Nev Campbell apparently will not be returning as Sidney Prescott in Scream 6. And yeah, the internet has just been complete shambles as a result. Uh, so Nev apparently stated in, according to Variety, she stated this to Variety. She said this about it. She said, as a woman, I've had to work extremely hard in my career to establish my value, especially when it comes to Scream. I felt the offer that was presented to me didn't, didn't equate to the value I've brought to the franchise she continued on to say how thankful she was to the screen fans for their years of support and david arquette has also chimed in on this as well during an interview to discuss the quarry game i think he did this with comic book he stated that a screen movie without sydney's kind of unfortunate but i understand her decision it's all a business in a way they have to balance all these elements to fit a budget and produce a film i get it she's still alive she can absolutely be in future ones but i think it's up to the fans to call for that in the future that is that that is sudden it's a business though i respect her decision for sure so going into my thoughts about nev so this originated from a scoop from this convention that went on over the weekend and i know master chaos made a video talking about it and other fans started to talk about it at this convention as well who said started to like basically chime in and co-sign all of these things it was like okay it's like what tatum was saying you know you can only hear rumors so much till you start to believe it but then a statement like this comes out from some more verifiable outlets people who are, again have a track record and more i guess compared to people like me a more reputable position where she's stating this to them now nev apparently also told someone and i'll leave a link to a lot of this stuff in the description she apparently told someone else at this convention that sydney had a bigger role this and she also said that the script is good now the thing here is that apparently she also told someone that she skipped out because she didn't like what she didn't like what sydney was doing or i guess she didn't like or she didn't think the script did sydney justice but she told someone else apparently that the script is good now here's what i'll say there if she told someone that she passed because she doesn't think the, the script did Sydney justice, but then told someone else that she thinks the script is good. If you're confused there, that's because, again, the aspect of Sydney sounds like it's what's most important to her. That's the character she's going to play after all. But if she's not satisfied with the part of Sydney, that doesn't then mean that, oh, the whole entire script is bad. That's like that's not how that works. You're one character in a enormous amount of pages she that's i just want to give an, like some clarity onto what that could mean there you know when you tell someone one thing about apparently the script being good and then tell someone else that you backed out because of the fact that you know it doesn't do sydney justice and it could be a combination of all this stuff being true again the thing about it is what that tells me is that okay she's in a place where she thinks that overall the script is good but she's not necessarily satisfied about what was done with sydney now some people oh they made her the killer oh you know she she must have been killed no i don't think it's anything like that this could very well be something that again for if you want to be more open-minded this could very well be something that you would have pitched to do with sydney this could have been something that you as someone listening to this could have pitched that you would like to see done with sydney and nev's in disagreement with it that you when we don't know all the details you need to be mindful of those type of scenarios as well it's very possible that what she didn't like you would like such as the fact that i see people in my comment section always talking about not always but a lot of people come into the comment section and say that oh sydney needs to be in scream six but don't provide a reason other than okay oh, she's the heart of the franchise that's very minuscule now in the larger scale of things quality over quantity with this character the way this character is written is very important to me when you say she's the heart of the franchise you need to go into what else does she have to do what else can be done what else is there for her to prove she has kind of at this point had three exits from the series so her saying that the script is good but she passed due to a pay dispute in my mind the biggest thing for us to worry about is that she believes the script is good since one circulation from the from this convention ended up being true i feel more comfortable believing these statements as well uh and again she's had like three exits from the series at this point you have the original intent with three then kevin himself wasn't even planning to focus on her in his fifth movie he was planning to go on from four without her after his fourth film and then five gave her another suitable reason to be involved once again too but that was again another type of exit for her now a lot of people will want to trash radio silence and it's like okay but they are probably just as upset as you are like i fully believe they would love to do this with her again but they are not in control of that stuff nev is in control of nev we also don't know again what the bigger role could have been to you this might be something that's smaller but to nev it was something bigger 
Uh, it could be something, again, that you don't think is big, but she did. The other thing that got overlooked today is that Courtney Cox also confirmed her return. So Gail Weathers is back. So don't undermine her. Also, Kirby Reed might have a redemption arc if Jenna Ortega's words from last night at the Red Carpet during the MTV Awards uh, should be taken literally in that regard. And I'll leave a link to, again, a lot of stuff in the description. She also talked about Ghostface being more violent this time around as well on the red carpet. All in all, I'm okay with Sydney not being here. There are a lot of people who won't be. But remember what David said. If you want Sydney, you're in control of that. In the sense that if you don't see Scream 6 over this, then you're probably closing the door on any potential shot of her returning in future movies so no one thinks long term in regards to stuff like that and it's probably best that we all start trying that because if you don't go out of your way to see scream six because of a short minor setback then you're not going to get a major comeback you don't know what could be done if scream six is successful you also don't know that this could be a scenario in which nev purposely did this to kind of show one or kind of prove a point to this to the uh, studios, the higher ups above Radio Silence that are do, that are involved with the negotiations. Prove to the producers that hey, I know my worth. She has a lot of projects she's involved in right now, but you know she's not obligated to do this movie for us. She doesn't owe us anything. She has served her purpose in this franchise. I will always love to see her in more screen movies. But the thing that I also value more is what this character has always represented to a lot of people. The fact that I care about how she is written. I know a lot of you do as well. You do not just. Throw Throw her in there any old kind of way as much as many people would like that that's probably the very thing that she probably was not in agreement with if that is something that was true sydney prescott is embedded in this franchise she will always be a part of this but i feel as though if we remain so short-sighted and say oh well, i'm not gonna go watch scream six because sydney isn't there well then guess what you're doing you're closing the door on any potential chance of her returning in scream seven which again i'll add this you don't even know if they have already talked to her about something they want to do with scream seven i mean the i mean the creative team not the people in charge with the money the creative team they probably have something very important in mind for scream seven and they understand why she's sitting out but if you don't go see scream six she's not gonna be able to do that you you're closing the door on the shot of her returning but you want her back so Bad. i don't understand it let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on notification never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me miss any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video